All right. Some of you have commented, and I'm just reading your comments here. Um, Peter writes, I'm currently stuck in a toxic and living environment, and I need this to work um, to escape it. I literally cannot stand living where I'm in, at. I think it's Nevada, um, private corporate ward nation state. I created a promissory note, and I did not know what account to insert. I use the USPS tracking number as an account number. Is this wrong? What is the proper way then? Am I allowed to have all caps drum and Peter J? And he writes the name. Um, all right. I think I've already responded to most of you in the um, emails that you guys sent to me. Josh writes, what exactly is it? Is it that's happening to who, by whom? What's the big mystery? Mike writes, Nestle is evil, owned by China, and they're draining the Great Lakes and have been doing so for decades. Um, this, I guess, is a fact. And then someone else wrote, I think it was Mike M that wrote, or somebody else wrote that Nestle is not the only company, crop company that's out there. So um, they're saying, how come Nestle is being picked on or they're the only ones being drawn out? Um, those of you who are writing to me about different situations, basically, um, here's what I need you guys to know. There's a law that we were not taught called self-preservation. And it took me a really long time to discover the significance of that. Now, you guys know you are the gods, you are the kings, you are the queens, and you are the heirs. Now, the Bible says you put God first and all good things will come after. Put God first and all good things will come after. So what were we doing? A lot of times we were putting others first. We were dealing with other situations and not preserving ourselves, not honoring who we are as a people. And I think that's what created so much of the grief we are now seeing in this day-to-day -day existence, right? Um, so those of you who are dealing with situations, what I try to do here to each of you, as you can see, is empower you by giving you knowledge and giving you the scriptures to know who you are as you are the heir. We're only here as guides, as angels, as messengers to share with you what we have done, what we have discovered, and the steps that we took in order to get free from a system that we discovered was systemic and a monopoly game. We gave you the laws and showed you what you need to do. And one of the things that's been coming to me the past couple of days is um, the scriptures. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. It is the law. Now, what does that mean? You guys know who have been with me for a really long time. I've shared with you as you've shared with me. And some of you sent to me the military lien, the military lien that they had put on all of us with hands, arms, legs for 14 trillion or more. Um, and it was done on all of us. And then those of you out there who've also shared with me here, the Pope's letter dated June the 10th, 2014, which clearly states all the fraud that we were subject to. Now, if you know that you were leaned up from the creation of the birth certificate um, and you know the Baby Act exists, you know the duty of to accommodate Act exists, you know that um, Article 4 and Article 11 in the Treaty of Tripoli exists and the Treaty of Peace and Friendship and the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution exists and was created by our ancestors for us all heirs to use, including the Albions to use. Because when you think about it, it goes both ways. In order for them to remain here and not get deported, they have to honor the Constitution and the treaties, which is the contracts in place for them to remain here. So we hear all kinds of weird and wonderful stories. We were sent a video yesterday from another more, um, a judge actually, who he too, his son was experiencing some atrocities through some of these actor agents doing business as judges. And once the son got the realization 
through his spirit that his ancestors protect him and protect all people honorable. And he basically turned to the agents doing business as judge who are tricking him through deceptive language, which is why I always say that, you know, we do not understand in court. And what he said to the agent was, I do not consent. I do not consent. I do not consent. You see, once he said that, the judge, his father, was explaining that that stopped everything that in its tracks. So I say this to say that to all of you who are out there, know this. Once you know who you are, once you are doing self-preservation, and once you get to the realization that you've had enough, like I have, so sometimes you hear it in my voice, I've had a comment here saying that I seem disinterested. It's just, we, we're at a point right now, all of us heirs, all of us moors, you can hear it in our tone, those of us who are elder moors, those of us who are mothers, those of us who are fathers, those of us who are just out there trying to be, man, we're tired of it. And it's not that we're disinterested, we're just tired of it. So when I came on here recently, I was explaining that we recently had a win and a success with a shipping company here, DHL. It was me who had decided that I was no longer going to subject myself to cussing out somebody and yelling at someone and threatening someone with a lawsuit. I was just not going to go there. And it took three weeks, people, for me to be guided to even pick up the phone and call them. And you see, once I started, um, actually, I didn't even call them what I, I think I did at one point, but what I was guided to do was lean them because the Bible says do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And we ended up leaning customs. In fact, um, Velma Ricketts Walker. And um, right after that, I think we served her the three times. And then we got a phone call from Selma the next day, who was the director of customs, who was really gracious and gave us the head Carlton to contact. And then Carlton gave us Mr. Beckford. Mr. Beckford, thank you again. And then Mr. Beckford gave us Kirk East. Kirk East, within less than an hour, said we'd receive the package by Monday. And Monday came. We did not receive it. Tuesday morning, we called Mr. Beckford back. He put us onto customs and discovered that the phone number on it was incorrect. And so we had to, once we cleared that up by noon Tuesday um, or so, thereabouts, we got the package. I say this to say that to you guys. Once you get to that place where you've had enough and you just say, um, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. I've had this show up in my life several times. I get tired out easily. I get, you know, annoyed with shit. Now I can't deal with a lot of crap. And I walk away. You see, once I walk away from something or someone or a situation, it's, it's over. And then they have to come back to you. They have to come back to you to finish up whatever it is commerce wise you're dealing with them because they need to, you know, have closure as well too. So I say all of that to say this, a lot of it people is our own energies. You see where I'm going? And a lot of the heirs and, and the moors right now are frustrated and tired of it. And when you see us talking about them as triglodyte nigger monkeys and reminding them of who they are and that they came from us, man, we created them by mingling with animals. We were the one messing with them. Okay. And so we have to face that fact and deal with that. And now all the Moors globally, all the heirs, all the Masons who are Moors, they're now waking up to the reality that they were leaned as well. They were pushed under the bus. Do you see where I'm going? So once you look at this whole picture from a global perspective, you begin to see that we're all affected. Anyway, you guys, thank you for sharing your stories with me. I will again try to write back to each and every one of you. I do not do phone calls for the mere fact that the energy and time it's going to take for me to respond to you guys emotionally, that I would like to avoid because it's going to cost you out. <laughs> My time is valuable. All right. So I do the, the writings. If you want to send us a donation, a love gift, feel free to do so. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day.